I thought George Scraps' sculpture was a really moving episode of Arthur. This is, I think, the first segment of the first episode of the 24th season. A couple of places say that the second episode was the first episode, so apologies if that's not 100% correct, but I checked various sources and it seems to be a bit ambiguous. But either way, it doesn't affect the enjoyment of the episode. George kind of accidentally volunteers to be the class representative to create a sculpture. And he doesn't really know what to do, and his friends give him various ideas, various contrasting ideas, and George is kind of confused because he doesn't know how to please everybody. But then he meets somebody who gives him some useful information. He meets Kevin Sampson, who I'd never heard of, but it turns out he's actually uh, an American artist, and I really like the character's involvement in this episode, and he helps George to realise that art is unique to the individual and it should come from within rather than George trying to create things that other people like. He should create something that's important to him and what he ultimately creates I won't go into any detail about but I thought it was pretty impressive and pretty moving. There were a few inconsistencies that I'll talk about with a well I guess a spoiler warning in a moment but generally I found the episode to be Really moving and um, definitely one that I thoroughly enjoyed and recommend. So a couple of inconsistencies, tiny spoilers from now. Well, actually, one's a tiny spoiler, one's a, a bigger spoiler as it involves what George created. But the tiny spoiler is, why was Mr. Morris in this? Mr. Morris, George went up to Mr. Morris and asked him, you know, where how much trash was still at the school. And Mr. Morris retired and moved, so I'm not entirely sure what that was. And also, he says there were two weeks' worth of trash still at the school. What school is keeping two weeks' worth of rubbish behind? That's disgusting, particularly when we're including food-based rubbish, as George did use some of. And that's just not pleasant. He also asked the rubbish for Mr. Ratburn's class, which I thought, OK, classroom rubbish isn't so bad, but the, again, this is a spoiler, but the yoghurt pots would have been put in the cafeteria rubbish. So that didn't make a lot of sense. Maybe to the younger target audience, it wouldn't make a big big deal. But as a writer who knows that I, if I do anything like that, whether there are plot holes or inconsistencies, I would be ripped to shreds. So I can't help but noticing these. Those things did annoy me, but not enough to detract from the beautiful episode and the beautiful message in ultimately George's creation. Definitely an episode that I enjoyed. 